all right, two videos in a row that are kind of responses to comments. And this one I actually recorded before the comment was posted, but um, I don't have the comment text on screen here, but basically the person who posted it was talking about aggro wins. So essentially that means you're trying to win as quickly as possible and therefore kind of bypass playing against all the typical um, scaling builds that you would see or you expect to see a lot um, in the later game. And I guess you're also trying to bypass some of the other like really strong builds. You know, the longer people have um, to scale up or to get all the equipment they need for their summon team or whatever, um, you know, especially things like uh, Mushroom, which only become available on turn 11. If you can avoid all that, then you're probably more likely to get an unusual team build over the line. So in this run, I was just playing more of the heart pack that I'd been using for the uh, manatee and dog videos, and I changed it up slightly. But the unusual thing here is that I'm on turn five and I have five hearts intact. And that's not just five hearts intact, that's five hearts without losing in the first two turns. And actually here you can see something slightly unusual, which is selling a 1-1 one, one Tamarin and it gives zero to the uh, to the magpie there. Um, yeah, so I, I, I'm really in this position where I didn't draw or lose in the first two turns, usually because I'm taking pets that, you know, if I'm stacking up Kiwi, a lot of the time you're just going to lose one of the, or draw one of the early turns, and therefore winning super early is not necessarily on the cards. And a lot of the time I lose in the in the mid turns as well. However, here, for whatever reason, taking Woodpecker, immediately getting it to level two, and then I'm just taking the uh, Guinea Fowl as a temporary uh, unit because it has a little bit of synergy with Woodpecker. Uh, yeah, I've already done a, a Woodpecker Guinea Fowl video not long ago. There are, uh, there's so many combos at this point that have already been done, but um, I'm just taking it here to try and increase our chances of maintaining the win streak. And it's, of course, it's always a gamble. You never know what kind of team you're going to face. And you can just, you know, lose regardless. It doesn't matter that you had a, a great start. Sometimes you're just going to face teams that had an even better start than you did. But here we're still winning and it's now um, turn seven. So we're on six trophies. So we haven't lost, or we've won every single uh, turn so far. And um, we're going to, go for a level three woodpecker might as well. And I think here I'd go for double squirrel, although if you're playing this sort of extreme tempo uh, strategy and you really wanted to make sure you win um, as quickly as possible, then you would keep the uh, hawks separate there. And here, I can't remember if I win or lose. I think I'm gonna lose by one HP. So if I'd kept the hawks separate there, I think that was a win. Uh, maybe not, but um, I, I wasn't too concerned about it. I wanted some free food and I didn't really get anything. I probably should have checked the pack beforehand. And I decided here actually to freeze the waffle just for something different to do. And we level the guinea fowl into Nyala. And I think Nyala is basically a must take here because um, we've had our first loss. And I'm going to put the guinea fowl in front of the woodpecker to get a few trumpets at the start. I think that'll be eight trumpets. So essentially that's like another Nyala. Uh, yep. Um, and the person who commented about this was mentioning, you know, the the fact that you just play against clownfish, bison, jellyfish over and over, maybe not so much bison, but you know, you, you just play these same teams and it just becomes incredibly repetitive, but you do have more chance of um, avoiding them I guess if you're if you're racing to a, a win because in order to get matched with um, a team that has the same hearts and trophies you're probably also going to be getting matched with other teams that are racing to a win as well and here I don't know why I let, left the Nile up front I should have just uh, moved it behind the woodpecker I guess it could have broken melon or something but we're actually going to lose again here because this team has puppy so you know, they got the very early, they probably got level three puppy very quickly there, which is how they've, um, you know, powered their way to the same kind of, uh, 
early wins as, as we have. So here I get my octopus that I've been waiting for with the frozen waffles. We'll take a couple of those. And I think one of them was actually free there. So I can now sell the octopus and buy the eagle, which is definitely the best um, tempo option for trying to win as soon as possible. Um, so having lost twice, the earliest we can now win is turn 12. And um, yeah, we're, I think we're okay here. Yeah, because the Nyala, Nyala is just one of those sort of stealth units that it's so strong and yet it doesn't feel that strong. Like it doesn't feel as overpowered as some of the other trumpet units, but I would say for sure it's uh, it's up there with the best of them. And if you think about it, you know, when you're buying it, you're getting 8-8 eight, eight in stats plus the base stats of the Nyala. So what is it? I think it's a 3-4 to start with. So you're getting 11-12 um, in stats just by, by buying the base stat unit. Uh, which is probably the best. Is that the best in the game? Maybe it will be once uh, Eagle gets changed so that it doesn't spawn a unit of the same stat line, of the of the full stat line. And here's another um, kind of unusual team where they've got, I mean, they do have Dodo Rooster, but they did have Cockroach there and they had a, uh, a very small shark that got one shot by the Hawk. And we're going to get the level 3 Woodpecker. So turn 12, we could be on for the win. And I'm just going to take another Nyala after a little bit of buy-sell with the uh, Octopus. And we get even more Nyalas. So those three Nyalas in the middle constitutes a 24-24 unit that can't be sniped and that can't be skunked either. And... You can see what's going to happen. Although it looks like the other team vastly uh, outscaled us, the 24-24 dog very easily finishes the job and we get the level 3 woodpecker win as a bonus.